Uh, far side in the black there. Hey Jessica. Hello. Congratulations. This is your first nomination, first win. How much does this mean to you? And you said thank you for letting me play your Martha. Um, talk to me about playing her and winning for this role. I've well, been quite nostalgic, obviously, while we've been over here because um, when I first read the script, I have to say it's one of the best things I've ever read. I read all seven episodes in one go. And I just kind of fell in love with the story and the writing and the character of Martha. And so I went into audition about four to five times. <laughs> But um, <laughs> and found them all them down. But no, when we got when we were filming, I just was so proud of Richard and this incredible story. And so um, when we made it, I think we just all thought it was going to be this kind of indie slow burning hit that a few people might watch. And so the fact that we're even over here, let alone at the Emmys, and let alone here now, honestly, I, I can't believe it. And so it's all really down to Richard. That's why I'm reflecting here first. All right. Next question. Just need to raise the hand. Yes, first row right here, near side. Hi. Hi, Jessica. I'm Caitlin with the AP. Congratulations on your win. Thank you so much. Um, in your speech, you called Richard reindeer. You addressed him as reindeer. Talk to me about what your relationship has been like off the screen after filming such an intense show with such an intense relationship with him. Well, we finished filming the show about two years ago now. And we're still extremely close. Obviously, we've come together quite a lot talking about the show since it's been out. But um, yeah, he's an amazing man, and I think uh, some of the writing he did in the series and the story he told, especially in episode four, was some of the bravest pieces of television I've ever seen or been part of. So I'm incredibly proud of him. Um, and um, yeah, he's just a, a really brave, brilliant writer and actor and person all around. And so it's been so great coming out here uh, to talk about the show with him, um, to get to see him again and Narva and Tom and obviously Veronica and all of our amazing crew and cast. So. It's um, really nice to celebrate with everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks so much. Our next question will be from a virtual participant. This is Danielle from KNX News. Hi, okay. Jessica. This is Danielle from KNX News. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> As an actor, how did you prepare for this character prior to filming? Wow. Well, the writing was kind of the biggest gift, really, because a lot of the clues about the character were in the writing. I looked into a little bit of a thing called Liberance, which is like that uh, obsession with people or an obsession with being obsessed with people. Um, and also, of course, there's iconic films um, around like Misery, <laughs> which also is very surreal because obviously Kathy Bates um, presented this award, which was a dream come true for me. So yeah, I, I was aware of kind of stalker films and roles out there, but I think the thing that's incredible about, about Richard's writing is that this character is so unique and unusual. So it was all really there in the script for me. I just kind of connected with her. I never saw her as a villain. I saw her as a kind of complicated, lonely character, as was Richard's character of Johnny. So yeah, it was all, all, all there in the work. I was just very lucky to be able to play the part. Okay, thank you. That was our final question. Thank you and congratulations to Jessica.